Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your, excuse me, October, your mid-October 2018 general reading. Now, it's a general reading, so it won't resonate with every Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but, you know, if it does, great. If it doesn't, you know, check another reader or check your Moon, Rising sign. Whoa. Okay, let's get started. So, okay, so we're going to do two cards for the past. Let's see what two cards we have for us. Okay, wow, all right. Two cards for the present. Cards for the future. This one wants to come out. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, Page of Swords. So someone could be gossiping, could be talking very harshly, being very short with someone. Maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or vice versa. They're doing this to you. Spying. I mean, this card can be so many different things. Someone cuts something off abruptly, prematurely. Let's see, in the past, we have the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Some of you are dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. There's lots of communication in the past. Even maybe messages of, of love here or messages about the trouble in a, in a particular relationship, your relationship or another, due to jealousy or greed, you choose there. It could be lo loving messages or somebody was talking about you know, a trouble in their relationship. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Presently, we have the temperance. Successful. Uh, beautiful. This is finding balance. Balance, peace, and serenity in doing so. Balance, peace, and serenity. Um, getting your emotions to a place of balance. Uh, Per perfecting something perfect timing here uh, some of you may have moved or you're traveling or you've moved away from a situation six of sword uh, talks about the chaos and the drama of of the five of swords and now you you have to find balance and in peace so you've moved away and it looks like you are presently in the future we have the strength card the Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Some of you are going to have to have the strength to move away from a particular idea, mindset, uh, way of life that you had, have or had established for yourself. Something that you were just really um, attached to. It looks as if you're going to have to be strong enough. Could be dealing with a Leo or someone with Leo in their chart. Be strong enough to know that choosing a new direction is the right way to go with this. Do more research. Get more research about this. Get more information. You're finding balance and moving away from presently. In the future, you're going to have to shift. Some of you are moving. Some of you are shifting uh, career. You don't know if it's for you. Let's see. The Butterfly Oracle deck. Let's see what we should be focused on moving forward. Okay, I'm going to have to take it. Retirement. And you know what that's about. Of course, it's. You know, it could be about actual retirement, but that card talks about moving from one job or one career to another. We have that here. Some of you is entrepreneurship, or you're already an entrepreneur. You ha you're shifting the business in such a way. I don't know. Um, it talks about uh, retiring. Body changes here. Grief work. 
and this popped out of the deck off camera new exercise program so this what you need body changes when your body starts to talk listen to it body changes this could be for the positive this could be for the negative um, definitely if you're exercising or you have a new exercise regimen then it's going to be for the positive hopefully um, you need to some of you are going into like grief work counseling therapist tarot card reader uh, uh, counselor um, you do sessions or groups and this is new for you do your research on this gain more insight about this it looks good and it looks like it's something that's for you we're going to clarify over at my website uh, the link should be below in the description it's only one dollar fifty cents so it's not going to break the bank um to definitely if you are experiencing um a shift in energy uh, in career uh, any of this energy is making sense for you let's clarify over at my website one dollar fifty cent click the link uh, the fifty cent is basically just the merchant fee I know a lot of people email me and say they can't afford a real reading this is a way an inexpensive way for you to gain a little bit more clarity about your situation so meet me over there guys remember to stay in prayer I'm praying for you pray for me as well Take care.